I am joined now by John Stinchcomb, former offensive tackle for New Orleans. John, before you were protecting Drew Brees, you spent your college career at Georgia, the program once again favored to win the whole thing this year. What's your evaluation of your alma mater as they start off 4-0? Yeah, back-to-back -back champions that come in with high aspirations, and rightfully so. You look at their roster top to bottom, and it's the best in the country. Now, with that said, Coach Smart has been often quoted as saying you're either elite and you're, or you're not. And this group isn't quite separating itself like it did in 22, but there's still justification for that number one ranking. There's just a number of teams that have closed that gap this year. Yeah, absolutely. Now, moving on to the pros, New Orleans now down a quarterback with Derek Carr suffering an AC joint sprain. Big game against Tampa Bay in week four. What's the outlook now on this team with the quarterback situation pretty uncertain? Yeah, it, this hurts for the New Orleans team. You look at it, and they haven't really been clicking consistently on offense, but Derek Carr is that X factor for them. You look at this past game, 17-point lead in the fourth quarter and find a way to lose. And now you get Alvin Kamara back, that's a boost for this offense, the team, but they're going to really be scrambling and relying on this defense going on this stretch of the season until they get Derek Carr back because they need to pair Alvin Kamara and Derek Carr to be really as successful as they want to be this season. Now the first three weeks of this season going off of that have been interesting to say the least. What surprised you so far and how much weight do these opening weeks carry when evaluating teams season long success? Sure, there's a couple surprises. I think the biggest comes from South Beach. You look at Miami, the amount of points they've exploded, historic performance against Denver. Uh, you know, the new metric that everyone points to is explosive plays, and, and the amount of speed that Miami has is scary for a number of defenses across the league. Very impressive. The other surprise comes from Minnesota, a, a team that you'd expect more from, and the other metric that is the tried and true gauge for how a team performs is turnovers and with nine turnovers so far in Miami or in Minnesota you can kind of see why they haven't had this early success I expect that to turn around but through three weeks in the season I think you get a good gauge for what a team is about and uh, uh, there's already some teams that understand uh, this is probably not our year and they know that you know you're looking up at how do we build for future seasons kind of scary to think we're not through the first quarter quarter of the season and it's that clear of a picture others are still trying to sort it out yeah it's really starting to shake out a little bit John thank you so much for joining us we appreciate your time enjoyed being on thanks for having me